everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Ellie's Culture Craving. Today I want to talk to you about UK TV shows for your aesthetic. I saw a, a, a version of this that already exists which is kind of like films for your aesthetic but that was quite like US centric and I thought I would share some UK British sort of favourites and assign them different aesthetics. So. If you're interested in this, make sure to subscribe because I do lots of these kind of videos. I talk about TV, film, books, aesthetics, all sorts on this channel, and I would pre really appreciate your support. That came out a bit of a mess, but you got the gist. Okay, let's start with Cottagecore. I very much got Cottagecore vibes going on today, actually, with the somewhat teacher hair, and uh, I'm wearing a long flow skirt. I'll show you. Um, but I've got two, actually, for Cottagecore. One's very obvious, one's slightly more, it's got to be your taste. The first one is BBC's Pride and Prejudice. The reason I put this in, um, I feel like this is one of the most quintessentially British programmes that almost every single British person will have either watched or had a mum who's watched it, one or the other. There aren't really any cottages in Pride and Prejudice as such. Um, but there's, you know, it's set in the countryside, it's got all these beautiful manor houses and I feel like it's kind of there. I feel like the thing about cottagecore and TV is if you look at more period drama stuff, a lot of that is very much within that sort of aesthetic. The next one is a very different direction, going away from period drama into the more fantasy side of cottagecore and that is BBC's Merlin. Um, I only finished Merlin recently, but I feel like, like I say, it's a little bit of a stretch, but I think the fantasy element of it is definitely a part of the cottage core aesthetic that I personally love. So if you're thinking fairies, forests, secret caves in the wood, I mean Morgana when she's, you know, all witchy, she has like a little, little thing in the forest. And I feel like that was quite cottage core. So I just felt like visually it made sense. Eagle. I actually did an Eagle transformation over on my main channel, so go and check that out. But um, I felt like if you're into the whole Eagle aesthetic, you'll probably like Skins. I've only watched a few episodes of Skins, but it's got that dark humour and and I feel like you'll particularly like Effie. Dark Academia. This is obviously my personal favourite aesthetic. I say obviously, if you know me, it's the aesthetic that I've explored the most. My nose is itching. Uh, right, so I have two for Dark Academia. One is Normal People, of course. I feel like this is such a good British show. I have a bit of Ireland in there. I've never been to Ireland. I feel like I should. I'm going to add that onto my bucket list for 2021. I have a very optimistic bucket list for next year that hopefully will go ahead. If you don't know, it's set in Dublin, a university in Dublin called Trinity. Um, if you're interested in this, there's actually a YouTuber I watch called Moya, who vlogs, she's a study tuber at um, Trinity in Dublin, and it's very, very interesting. Um, but yeah, it's set there, so there's a lot of dark academia, and it's got quite a dark storyline, and a lot of what um, Mar uh, Marianne, did I make that up? Yes, Marianne, a lot of what she wears is very much in the aesthetic, and there's a lot of libraries and sort of posh people dinners and parties and it is perfect. So if you really like the aesthetic, I highly recommend you give that a watch. My second one is on TV now. It's His Dark Materials. Again, a lot of it is set in Oxford, so you get a lot of um, the Oxford colleges and um, it's very much an exploration on academia's place and um, valuing learning over sort of traditional morals and seeing the world for what it is and not being afraid of knowledge. So in terms of that, it definitely just works within dark academia. Um, the principles are very much rooted in his dark materials. Similarly, I'm gonna shift gears a little bit towards light academia. Light academia is like dark academia, um, same principles apply, a love of learning, a love of um, the pursuit of knowledge, how, except it's less focus on classics and Shakespeare depressive monologues and more into lighter poetry. I see a lot of the 20s in light academia actually. So with that said, I've got two 
period dramas for light academia. One is The Crown. Um, there's not a lot of actual academia in The Crown, but I feel like in terms of the colour scheme that you see everywhere, definitely, definitely applies. I, I thought it was really boring first time I watched it a few years ago, but now I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. If you're into the whole artsy indie kind of scene, I feel like Fleabag is the show for you. Fleabag's a show I have binged many a time. Um, it's heartbreaking, but very funny, very cool, very clever, a lot of breaking of the fourth wall. It's just, it's like Miranda, but more intelligent. If you're into soft girl vibes, I highly recommend Dairy Girls. Again, a little bit of island in here. Dairy Girls, again, is a really funny show. It's about a group of teenage girls growing up in Ireland. Um, not really during the Troubles, but sort of post Troubles, but also during, I'm not really sure exactly on the time frame, but it's on the later end, I think. Of the troubles um but it's just it's really funny i feel like the clothes in it are just very teenagery very cute and i think you'd enjoy it if you're of the insta baddie aesthetic if that's what you're really into killing eve there is no doubt for me on this one you will love killing eve she's so when i say she i mean villanelle one of my main inspirations you know fashion wise not murdering people wise although if i was into murdering people she would be the person to inspire. Anyway, that got on a tangent. I feel like she's so extra and she always goes that extra mile and if you want to be an insta baddie, that is what you need. Y2K, this is going to be a surprising one, I suppose, but Doctor Who, and when I say Doctor Who, I mean Rose Tyler, basically. I mean, just, just look at Rose Tyler. So like those early few seasons and between Christopher Eccleston and the end of David Tennant, it, it just feels so noughties and for me personally um Doctor Who was such a core part of the noughties for me and finally we have girly or soft glam to which I recommend sex education because I feel like if you're into the girly soft glam look you're open-minded um I suppose you're a little bit basic but I feel like sex education appeals to those kind of people as well. Sex education is a weird one aesthetically because it's very American visually, um, but a lot of the humour is very British. It's a very odd show aesthetics wise, but w which makes it quite basic. So I think I think you'd enjoy it. Okay, so those are my recommendations of UK TV shows for your aesthetic. If you want more videos like this, please let me know in the comments and make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.